Yeah, I mean, we always like good. All right, just going back to last week, just talk about the atmosphere in the stadium. You know, you go back, your Facebook status has like 100 Facebook likes. You know, your, friend, your family seeing you play on ESPN. Just talk about the whole scene. Uh, guys, one of the greatest games I've been a part of, you know, and uh, being on ESPN and uh, from the whole nation and showing everybody what Ohio is all about, you know, is, uh, it was great to be a part of that. And, um, you know, uh, we came out and we got the job done. And, uh, you know, right now we're, we're leading the, the MAC East. And, you know, hopefully we can just take one game at a time and uh, get to where we want to go. And that's uh, the Met Championship in Detroit. So, uh, rate your your season performance so far. You know, you've already tied the, the season record, or single season record for touchdown passes. Teams in a position to they have the inside track to the, the Met Championship. Just think about where you were at the beginning of the year and just rate how you guys have done so. Well, I mean, stats-wise, you know, I don't really get into much of that. You know, I I, uh, I feel like I'm more of a team guy, and uh, I like to focus more on our goals as a team. And, um, you know, we want to be in Detroit for the championship and, of course, be at a bowl game and win that. But, uh, you know, from, from the beginning of the year, I feel like, you know, the guys around me have uh, allowed uh, my job to be a lot easier and uh, allowed me to be more comfortable. So, uh, you know, it's, been, it's been a lot of fun so far, but we're not done yet, so. Um, moving forward to Central Michigan, just talk about what you see from their defense looking on film. Uh, you know, they're, they're a great defense. You know, they, uh, they don't blitz that much, so I feel like uh, you know, we're going to have a chance to go fast and uh, maybe put the ball uh, uh, down the field a little bit and uh, be able to run off some. So, uh, but they, they still have a great defense no matter what their record shows. And uh, you know, they got a good offense. And uh, you know, if it comes to shootout, I feel like we've got a great uh, offense to, to put up points and stuff. And uh, I think we can do that. So. Talk a little bit about these these midweek MAC games and how they impact your guys' schedule. Yeah, they uh, they're different. You know, I, it's my first year. You know, being starting and being a part of that and having to adjust uh, school wise and stuff. But uh, you know, it's uh, it's it's fun though. At the same time, you know, because you get to be on ESPN and have everybody watching you, and uh, that's kind of the, the good part about it. But um, if anything, you know, not not uh, being f so focused and zoned in on school, you know, that kind of can. Uh, kind of hurt you, but uh, other than that, it's been a lot of fun so far. So, uh, As you said so far, you know, it was a big win against Temple, but you guys can't get too high. You know, you're in, in position to cruise through the MAC East, but you got a team like Central, who's on paper looked like they've struggled, but they've had a lot of close losses. They've had some tough opponents, including one where they almost, it was like a two-point score against NC State, two uh, touchdown yeah. game against NC State, which was a really close game. How do you uh, approach a game like this where you see a team that's struggling that might be hungry for a win? Yeah, well, uh, that, that's, that's right. You know, we're not going to take them uh, lightly, and they're, they're going to be coming out wanting to win, you know. It's not like their season's over with. And, uh, you know, with us being the, um, the, the best team on the East so far, you know, they're going to look at, you know, if, if we beat them, we're going to be one of the better teams in the MAC and look at themselves as a, um, a contender now. But, uh, you know, we're, uh, we're just going to take it one game at a time and uh, deal with Central now and who's ever else after that will deal with them. But we just got to take it one game at a time and keep playing our games. So. Last touchdown, Dante Foster. It's almost been dubbed the Oklahoma Connection. What is that like? You know, you guys are both yeah. Sooner boys coming up here, and you guys find each other for the last touchdown. Not even just the touchdown, any connection. No, it's it's awesome. You know, we're roommates, and uh, you know, we we have that connection off the field. But uh, you know, it, it's great to have that. You know, I have some uh, Oklahoma guys getting their names out, and um, uh, you know, it's been great so far. And you know, of course, we have Bo too. So um, it, it's been a lot of fun having uh, all of us kind of circle around and uh, be out there and represent Oklahoma. So. And a final question, uh, as a student athlete, how do you prepare for these midweek games, uh, preparing for a, a conference title and, you know, maybe a bowl game with finals coming up and everything? Yeah, well, I mean, with everything on the line, you know, and everything at stake, uh, you know, you just got to stay focused. And, um, you know, with finals, you know, coming up, and I actually have a final on one of the games, you know, which I'm going to have to move. So, you know, it's just having to readjust and, um, you know, um, just uh, you know, stay stay focused and uh, keep uh, keep your mind on the goal, and that's uh, you know to be in Detroit and stuff. But at the same time, you gotta you gotta put academics first, and uh, that's what I'll, I'll do. So. And do you find it a little difficult, uh, like phys physically demanding, uh, you know, mentally demanding, with all this at the same time? Yeah, yeah, I really do. Um, you know, it, in a way, it kind of gets stressful, but at the same time, you know, you just gotta you gotta readjust to, to what's going on, and uh, just accept that you know you have you have games during the week and you have classes. And stuff, so uh, it, it's a little bit different, but I, I feel like I'll adjust well, and uh, um, you know, so far I have. So. It's dark. Get out of here. <laughs>